Okay, here we go. And we are live. Coming at you live. There we are. Alright, check the hair. Oh, I'm still half asleep, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this up. Today we're going to be playing uh, Hammer Time League. So basically, there is a, a Modern RCQ weekend this weekend, and I'm going to do some practice for it. Let's have a look in here. Uh, <laughs> Hammer Time. So this is the list that we will be playing today. And the reason I brought up Goldfish is because I believe... It is <laughs> the same list that is here. No, it's changed. Ooh. But this is also the same list. <laughs> um, so the, the list I'm referring to is uh, the Travis Brown list, which might be this one, actually. Um, So they're not quite the same. The sideboards are different. Um, this this list is playing a two mana tithe, one Dranith Magistrate instead of. Um, I don't know what is playing that instead of. Oh, instead of the third Strict Proctor. Whereas um, Travis, I think, has just foregone Dranith Magistrate. Oh no, he's not. He's, he's brought it back. Interesting. <laughs> So you're playing this instead of Nettle Cyst, and instead of the fourth Proctor. So this is this is the list that I've sort of put together. It is more or less the same. It is the same 75, the Travis Brown one, or Disgruntled Out rather, one the back-to-back. -back. Uh, um, <coughs> SCG Con. Yeah, you want back to back in SG cons with this 75. Um, I, I feel confident enough with the deck to be able to play it and, and sideboard properly. I, in my head, these mana ties are pretty much only for Cascade decks. But who knows, really? You might be able to play them in other spots. Um, I probably will bring them in against just like random combo decks. Uh... I played the list a little bit last night. I played against Rhinos and I beat them. Manatite is really good there. I also played against Coffers. Uh, I, did, I ended up losing to Coffers. Uh, and that was from some unfortunate mulligans. So we're going to do a Magic League on Magic the Gathering Online. I'm going to try my best to get on with the client. Uh, there will be some issues. I have a slice of toast here, but now I'm seeing there's mould on it. Is there a ton of mould? It just looks like the one bit of mould. I'll pick that off. <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me. Still waking up. <sighs> I'm a tired boy. Come on, Magic Online. <laughs> Nothing's frozen. It's just this taking ages to load. Streamlabs, everything is taking ages to load for me today. Streamlabs are taking forever. I was this close to reinstalling it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah, sorry. So the list I showed you on um, on there is actually not the list I'm going to play. I'm going to test, because this is the modern metagame as a whole online, I'm just going to play with um, 
these cards. Ooh. So this is the original list that he won the back-to-back -back SCG cons with. The only thing I've done is I've put an Alsis in the main deck and the Pithy Needle in the sideboard, because in my experience at least, um, the Nelsis has been really powerful against a lot of the Bean decks, um, just as like an extra threat. Um, and in many cases you can't outgrind them, but in game one I think it is going to be nice to have the Nelsis, and I'm probably going to play it in game two as well. See, because all I thought through is the, the card you bought out the most. Oh my god! Oh. I have a cup of tea here, but it's not even caffeinated, so it won't it won't help. Uh, okay. Also, do I have any treasure chests? How many points do I have? Oh, I have a. What is this? A player a treasure chest bonus pack. Brilliant. <laughs> so I got 55 play points and three qualifier points. That means I need another 55 play points for a league. Alright. Let me just let me just buy some. <laughs> I love buying things. Uh, okay. So it's going to cost me about eight pound seventy five to get this, which is cool. Um, I suppose. Check out. That's fine. There we go. <laughs> I'm just fighting to be able to play a Magic League. Come on, get more non-arena boys. I'm starting to like the arena interface the more I use it. Um. I've never been a fan of the Magic Online interface, just because I'm I just, I'm constantly fighting against it. Hopefully, I don't make a ton of misplays, but we'll see. <clears throat> Any second now, we should get. Ooh, my God! I keep shivering and yawning. This is horrible. Any second now, we should get the tickets coming through. NTGO Showtime. I guess in the meantime, there's not really much else for me to talk about surrounding the deck. Um, I'll, oh, there we go. Finally, few. I, I thought I was going to have to fill time. Just let me play. Yes. Except. <laughs> there we go. I'll uh, just double check the deck is as it should be. Four main deck search. Four main deck search is the big thing I'm testing. Uh, I've never played it with four main deck search, but I was sort of on the um, I was on the impression on, on the let's have a look at some undefeated decks as well. I was under the impression we should be playing four main deck search because you bought it in in every matchup apart from Hammer and apart from um, yeah, you just play it in every matchup apart from the mirror. Basically, uh, I think I play these real quick just because I 
that's an interesting bit of a take on the deck for claiming the firstborn. I kind of like it. Uh, I'm basically just trying to see if people are playing this um, weird combo deck, and I don't know. I've, I've played against the um, oh, it's just, it's just such a wild deck, the Quintorius combo deck. Um, I've played against it twice on uh, Arena yesterday while I was just um, playing for what well, I would say for fun, but it wasn't really fun to play against. And the sacrifice, I couldn't do anything against it. <laughs> Whenever player casts. All right, here we go. I won the die roll game one. Let's go. I'm gonna turn the chat off actually. Um, good luck, have fun, opponent, but I will not be keeping the chat open. So, this is a mulligan. It doesn't really have anything that I want it to. Oh. I reckon I'm keeping this. It's just about got it. <laughs> it has a hammer, it has an equipper, it has a nail cyst. It more or less does all the things I need it to do. Uh, the pure steel paladin is gonna be tough to. Cast. So is that nettle fist though? I think it's like I think it's between ditching the hammer and the nettle fist. Um, purely because I can get the hammer back. But then, it, do I want to be in a place where I have to get the hammer back? Maybe not. I think this giver of runes is going to be useful because having two creatures is better than one. This is rough. Getting rid of a card here is rough. It might be. It might be surge. Game one, getting rid of Surge. Oof, feels bad, but I kind of want to keep the spells. That might be a mistake, but we're here to test, so. Go to main deck. Let's play this. Yes. <laughs> oh well. This hand still has a saga and a metal cyst in it. Okay. Could be a fury hand from our opponent. We just play the Stoneforge Mystic, have to. Keep the pressure up. Stonehold is a really good draw. Uh, I can get a second hammer. Mm. I think that's what I'm going to get. I'm thinking the plan is, is we try and set up a turn where we can go double hammer. Oh, Street Wraith? Is it Death Shadow? I feel much better about it being Death Shadow than being like Fury Scammed. Just a while ago now, I saw a um, a red black dash shadow deck running around that was okay. Well, I didn't draw a thing, unfortunately. Um, I don't want to do this. I could just deploy both the hammers. Um, I'm probably, what I really want to do is put the Nettlesis into play with the Stoneforge Mystic, but it's just going to be a 1-1. One, one. Oh no, it'll be a 2-2 two, two right now. Um, 
So I suppose I'll just play a hammer and a ginger brute and pass. I think that's okay. Because I'm going to need creatures and I'm going to need um, artifacts to get the metal craft on this guy. So we'll just pass. Thing is, that I think there's a very good chance that they, they are like on a bowmaster deck. But they might not draw the bowmaster. Hence why they didn't just hold up two mana. And bowmaster isn't as good with Dragonstone's channel, I suppose, although I'm sure they'll they'll I'm sure they'll manage. I'm very confused. Well, okay. It's a brew. <laughs> I was going to get a um, Springleaf Drum. Uh, one, two, three. But I'll be alright regardless now. Because I can just play the second hammer out. So I still get Springleaf Drum? Nah. <laughs> Let's get Shadow Spear. Put it on the Mystic, because it's like the least vulnerable creature on my board of tiny creatures. <laughs> Alright, the heating's on. I'm going to have to turn that off in a minute. <laughs> Got myself a nice cup of tea and I'm boiling to death. So our opponent has choices if they have a lightning bolt, which they are representing. Um, I'm suiting up this Stoneforge Mystic because if I put it on the Paladin, obviously, um, my opponent is going to um, bolt the Paladin and then I can't do anything. Like that. Yeah, just suit that up first, basically. No, no idea what our opponent's doing. I would assume it's some sort of death shadow thing, but either way, they're on red black, so we get sanct uh, sanctifier. Um, they're also doing some sort of artifacts thing, but I think we can largely ignore that because like, uh, maybe I'll bring in a pithy needle. Yeah, they, they're probably on engineered explosives, so I'll bring in a pithy needle. Uh, and because I'm bringing in cards, I want to take out these. <laughs> This is generally the go-to. You just take out um, Ornithopters and Drum. And then it leaves me with one more card. I think I might throw two Solitude in. Maybe I'll leave one Ornithopter in. I'm guessing the deck is like uh, the green black saga deck, but red. <clears throat> I kind of don't want to bring in one solitude, I want to bring in two. But this might be fine. We'll just run it with one for now. Like, I could maybe take, I could take out another drum, I suppose. Go down to one drum. This is a keep, probably. My biggest concern is this happens to like the thought sees. Um, so they're keeping seven, I will also keep seven. But. No deal. <laughs> Please don't thought sees one time. No deal. Just because I. Uh, 
Oh, it's Chandler. Okay. I can live through a Chandler. <laughs> like, the hand's very reliant on um, this Stone Forge Ghost stick, right? No, Alpha. Oh, I just missed. I just missed the card I'm trying to click. Oh, dear. This Pure Steel Paladin's going to get away with it. The longer the game goes on, the worse it gets. Not good. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, okay, this is what I'm doing. Alright. He says with his mouth full. It's like an underworld cookbook thing. Well, I could have made them pay him out of there. Draw. Um, oh, wow. Yes. Uh. I suppose I would have wanted to play Esper Sentinel as is and then Sigurd as aid, but we'll see. So I can cast the Esper Sentinel off of the Springly Strum rather than like the other way around. But they have a stomping ground. Okay, they have, they're Jund Cookbook. food, overall chase dead, that all resolves, resolves, I would assume they want to keep up the option to okay. Um triggers. <laughs> okay, they are paying the one. And they are surveilling. They've only got lands in the graveyard so far actually, so this Dragon's Ray Chandler is not gonna be a threat for a while. And last turn they only left up red mana. Oh well, actually no, they didn't. They've not left. Well, yeah, they did leave up red mana last turn uh, after playing the cookbook. No, they've just left up a blood crypt, right? Attack in. No blocks. I'll take the one. Draw. Needle, eh? Okay, it's not bad. I'm gonna hammer now. I'll blast. That's fine. Um, resolve that trigger. Resolve that trigger. Draw a second hammer. It's a surge, baby. <laughs> I would like to use Sigala's aid's ability. Um, <clears throat> so they have an oval chase dead apple in their hand, I suppose. But And I could underworld, I could pithy needle underworld cookbook instead of attacking, but I think not attacking for 11 is probably you know, not what we're trying to do here. I got quite lucky there. Them, go, they, them only having a galvanic blast. I assumed it was damage based on people. Alright, let's see what you got. Cycling response. <clears throat> Cycling in response to the trigger. Don't know about that. Unless they're trying to draw something 
specific that isn't. No, you always cycle after. So you're less likely to draw the thing. I mean, it's very marginal, right? But make a dude. They can't equip the dude, which is relevant. But they do need a blocker, and this DRC isn't going to be it. Does Oval Chase gain you life as well? No, it doesn't. Opponents tanking. I think I think that probably means we got it. They didn't get anything from the saga? Oh no, they got another cookbook. Okay. I'm guessing they can go Asmo. They can make two foods, which puts it up to... Ah. They don't have mana. They're gonna love this Shadow Spear that's in my hand. <laughs> They don't have green mana anyway. Um, <clears throat> I believe that should be a concession. Even if I didn't have the Shadow Spear in fairness, I have a Stone Forge and the mana to fetch and do it as soon as they tapped out. No Asmo means that I'm completely okay to do so. Yes. And they have an oval chase in hand, so I am not concerned. Yes. No green mana for opponent. time I was playing. Last time I was playing I did okay actually. I, I, it was only Malika decks that were on Modo because of the whole beans thing that was going on. Um, I don't hate Malika. We go again. I don't of, often do a Magic League in one sitting either. I might just play for a couple of hours and then come back and finish it later. We'll see. We will see. So I suppose so far has main deck Nelsis done anything? No, it's not. <laughs> um, but ha would have main deck Needle have done anything? <laughs> okay, found found. Oh, well, I won the die roll again. Huge for us. Um, oh, this is kind of hard to say no to. Like, it's not particularly fast. I mean, it doesn't have any synergy with an Ornithopter. And the cow just kind of already a mulligan. But Stoneforge Mist, two Stoneforge Mystics in a saga is is tough to say I don't want. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm just gonna be wary of the fact that like playing as an Ornithopter on turn one doesn't actually get me anything unless I have a Cigar Disease. So I'm not gonna play it essentially until I need to. Draw. So I'll just play a tapped Mirius Call. Pass the turn. Nope. Mystic MTGO. Is in Stone Forge Mystic? Okay. I'm guessing it's um, some variant of Night Tide.
Yes. I'm gonna grab a hammer now that I have an equipper. Otherwise, it was straight for metal cyst. But I have the equipper. So I'm guessing they're gonna kill the mystic. But this turn, I'm gonna. But because I got a hammer, they might not kill the mystic. Which would be interesting, because I can put in a counter, and we'll see how they deal with that. Normally, a Caldra in your opening hand is a bug, but in this instance, I had two Stoneforge Mystics, so I can, you can kind of bluff it away and be like, oh, I don't have it. Okay, they're bolting it, fair enough. It is the just hand, and they can get Delirium. Okay, this is actually a pretty good start from them, they are putting on the pressure. I'm just F6 here. They're gonna draw a card. It's right. gonna go to two. Okay. Um. So they're tapped out. Which is very good for me. Because it means I can just do my thing. I mean, I get, I get why you tap out, right? They're not doing anything explicitly wrong by tapping out, but at the same time, if they, you know, they, they can only have so much removal in hand, I suppose. Only thing I'm concerned about now is Otawara. Um, obviously, I, I can't immediately go get Otawara. Um, I'm just going to try and build an insurmountable lead in the next two turns. They might have Brazen Borrower as well, but most decks are off that unless they're going all in on the adventure thing. Oh, okay, that's a Fable. That is not traditional. Everything else I've seen. Very normal Murktide region stuff. Ragavan means I do have to get Shadow Spear. I'm gonna make a dude in response to this. I'm gonna get a Shadow Spear. Draw a card. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright. Um. Equip this here. Get in with the old Paladin. I'm just going to end the turn here. Um, Nah, I can play the Junior Brute. Luckily against Murktide, you're generally not afraid of um, losing to... Fury. Wait, wait, wait. The Construct. That's fine. <clears throat> Little wins. <laughs> Little wins for the opponent. You let them have the Construct. Ottawa is the only thing we're scared of. EI. Let's have a look. Cool. So it does look like pretty standard Murktide until they showed me the um <laughs> the fables, but I don't think I'm gonna take much notice of the fables and I'm just gonna do my own thing. Um, so in this matchup, of course, you always board out Ornithopter. Um, you you board out Ornithopter in most matchups, but the reason you do it in this one is because they play like if they're playing Ledger Shredder and Murktide Regent and Dragon's Ray Channeler, they're going to have a lot of flyers that may or may not be untapped at certain points in the game. Uh, and then we'll also play Solitude. <laughs>
Solitude and Pithy Needle will do. Um, you could play Mana Tithe, but I don't intend to get into a counter war with them anytime soon. It's a bit cute. Um, the rest of the deck I'm happy with. So you play Pithy Needle for Engineered Explosives. Any matchup that your opponent is typically going to play Engineered Explosives, so that's like a two color deck. You play Pithy Needle to name it. My board was still very soft to Pithy Needle that match. Right, because he got. Because I had a Construct, um, an Ornithopter, two Equipment. <laughs> Like five for one of me <laughs> if they did that. Um, oh, this hand is. I'd say this hand is pretty much a keep. It is really tight because obviously we have a Caldra and nothing to do with it. Um, I'm gonna pretend they don't have spell pierce and just rip a cigar with aid. If this gets countered, we lose. And I get punished for keeping a bad hand. But yeah, I think the Cigar Aid is generally pretty safe here. Yeah. Interesting, they had no turn one play. Or is they just... Unless they just preordain, right? And they're trying to represent Lightning Bolt at the same time. Draw. Okay, that's good. I don't see them countering this ever. It might eat a removal spell. I don't. I'm not gonna surge it. Oh yeah, I'll attack. Come on, get him for one. Yeah, I'm not gonna protect this ginger brute. I don't think. I don't think I need it really. Obviously, I'd rather draw pretty much any other card in my deck, but it's here. Nice was ball ball, enters the effects area. So they stumble on the land. Which is pretty good for me. Um, I'll attack with the old brute. I'm expecting it to be countered, but I, I can't do nothing. Yeah, okay. Especially if they're on like two levels, right? They're kind of in a position where they can't really afford to spend their time drawing cards, but there we go. It just pressures their mana by playing Stoneforge there, and at least I have the Nettle Sisters, like a plan, plan B. Inclined to protect this ginger brute. Saga, 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 saga. It's paladin. Paladin's not bad. Uh, it's not what I'm looking for, though. Really. <laughs> um, okay, I'll attack then. I'm just gonna play this Nettle Sister in its speed. Dane. Okay. Sick. So they can cast a Merc Tide now. It would be a 5-5. Five five. Bit problematic. If I can somehow get this Nettle Sist onto the Ginger Brute, that would be great. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to send it in there to...
let's see what they do. <clears throat> Let me have a quick tank. I can do some shenanigans with the Sagamze, which I will do. I will pretend to put it on the ginger brew and then have it and have the germ equip. Um, so I want the living weapon basically, so I'll put that on second. Interesting, okay. So what would have happened if the system actually wouldn't have ended up on the ginger root anyway? Now if they try and kill this now, I might surge it. So we're in their end step here. Getting rid of two unholy heat, oh, that was nice. Hopefully we can get this out of lightning bolt range. Oh, we don't get it out of lightning bolt range. <coughs> what are we looking at? I do have three artifacts, so I can make this bad boy a 5-5, five five, which I'm going to do. But we'll attack first. I'm going to hold on to this Mirror's Group, because of the whole solar situation. Oh, I only have two. Oh. <clears throat> for some reason, I thought I had another artifact. It's because I was counting the Sagada's aid for the power and toughness of the. Um... They just petty theft it straight up, huh? Why did storm count just come up? That's weird. Oh, solitude. All right. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I'm gonna cast this. I'm guessing that they have a spell snare. Um, you wouldn't pay theft if you didn't have a spell snare. But I'm not really gonna play around it. Yeah. Just get it out of the way. Pass the turn. So if they do have a Merc Tide, at least I have the Solitude for it. While it is a problem, I don't want to Solitude their Merc Tide. What I want to do is Solitude the, like a Ragavan, or a Ledger Shredder, or even a Brazen Borrower. Or even cast it. On saga, oh, it's the second Sagada's aid, uh, which I'll cast. Having two Sagada's aid is actually pretty useful. Alright, being punished for keeping Caldra now, which is fair enough. I kept a pretty mediocre hand, but we fought off a good fight. Our opponent's got six cards in hand. Second expressive iteration. It's not really where we want to be. Six cards in hand, all spells. <laughs> right, in hindsight, I shouldn't have played into that spell snare, but... <clears throat> I suppose them having spell snare in hand gives them the confidence to leave up just one mana. When if they're only leaving up one thing, I can double spell them, for example. Try and cast this. I'm just gonna have to try and cast something every turn until they don't have an answer. Whereas they're doing the opposite, they're not casting anything and keeping up answers, which is how they lost their last game. Stone Scolding and a Spell Snare. Damn. I've just got to keep, we've got to make sure I'm playing fast. I'd say this game is likely a loss, but 
I just gotta make sure I'm playing fast. I think drawing a nurse to saga would be a pretty good out. Hey! Sorry, they don't help my mood, me. Or oh, tide binder it, okay. <laughs> Four, five. Um. I've already played a land this turn. Doi. I was like, oh, maybe I'll leave up the Emiria's call for Solitude cast, but I can't because I've already played a land. I cast the Brazen Borrow. That's fair enough. They've had that in their hand for ages. <laughs> That's not a top deck. They've been waiting for me to either present a... Uh... <clears throat> well, it was either that or Ink Moth Nexus, whichever threatened them first, I suppose. Damn, that's really annoying. I don't think we have another out. Really. They know the top card of my library. They're gonna draw a card in my upkeep. It's a solitude. All right, well they know about it, I guess. Pass to them. <clears throat> I suppose I shouldn't. Just like F6 the whole time. As we think we both know I have solitude. They can attack. I'm gonna cast solitude. It's gonna get count spelled. <laughs> Alright. Take three. Pretty nice trade by them, I guess. Damn, they're playing Brazen Borrower. That is unlucky for me. It's also unlikely to see. <laughs> but, uh, this fortune is not doing anything. I'll go to five. I, I'm going to be honest, there's a pretty good chance that they've got multiple bolts. But... Play Ragavan, is it? They haven't used a count, like a, an actual factual counter spell yet. So I'm guessing... They've got a couple in their hand. Please. <laughs> I can have solitude. Uh, question is, am I get rid of Brazen Borrower? Answer is yes. <laughs> Has to be Brazen Borrower, unfortunately. So they've used two Unholy Heats. So they've got half their deck left. They've used two Unholy Heats, which means they have two more Unholy Heats and three Bolts. 
Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Let's just cast forward on you. Okay. <laughs> Attack with the old chewed. Finding it very, very suspicious that I'm resolving things while they have seven cards in hand. I have no idea what they could be playing. What I don't get is why Forging You doesn't say equip at instant speed with split second. I think that would be balanced. There's no way they have another petty theft. Two would be ludicrous. They have to have something. Dress down. But it still gets plus one, plus one. It's still going to be massive. That doesn't do anything. You still lose your Ragavan, and I keep a massive creature. I suppose it's going to get a lifelink. the hell is in your hand, good sir? If that's the best you can do. Bolt me. Oh, okay, there we go. Really, they sandbagged a double bolt for that long. That's right. Yeah, I suppose they could have been chopped up on Ragavans for a while. Oh well. They got it. Sideboarding is going to be the same. So, like, some people might be inclined to play Sanctifier. I'm not, massively. Um, it gets countered by all of their stuff. <laughs> Especially now that they're playing... Like, now that I know they're playing two Stern Scolding and at least one Spell Snare. I can't imagine it's more than one spell snare, but yeah. Four solitude is a lot. Would I rather have solitude over mana tithe? I'd probably rather have solitude. But I want the draw, so maybe mana tithe might be better. Might try this. I don't know, it is. Uh, we're getting lost in the source with the mana tithe. It is a very efficient matchup. I'm on the play. Let's try it. We're here to test. Here to test. I would love to win the draft. Keep. <laughs> Draw step. Oh. This isn't one of those like trap do nothing Esper Sentinel hands that you do get in um, Hammer Time. Uh, maybe it is, we'll see. Because it has a pure stuff hard in Anastone Forge Mystic as well. Are they going to be a player that preordains into the Esper Sentinel? That's what they're thinking about. They are. They're going to preordain. Come on. Preordain, come on. Stop thinking so hard. You're going to hurt your brain by thinking. Come on. You can do this, Mystic. Cast that, preordain. And fix both our hands. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Makes so much more sense. I shouldn't have attacked with that. Maybe I should have. We'll see. They trade that off immediately. Alright. Damn it. I shouldn't have done that. Cause, no, I shouldn't have traded. I should have just played a second S Sentinel on past. So that it taxes them harder on everything they play. But now they're just going to pass the turn forever. And I've lost, basically. So that was a, that was a big error. It was already looking pretty bad when I didn't hit the second land. But I think it gets even worse when I don't have a... They might go preordain pay the tax, and if I draw like I don't know what I can draw really. Wah wah. I'm tilted now. I'm tilted. Oh, I should have just played the second S percent and passed the turn. I just would have drawn two Colossus Hammers anyway. That makes that a lot less efficient, in fairness. Uh, they just get to kill it for free, and I'm never going to draw a card off any of them. And they know what I'm drawing. So now they can just do that. And they know I'm not going to draw a land. Oh, God. <sighs> Turn scolding it, go on. What did I do first? What is that? Well, GG. They're just going to completely fix their hand with Preordain. God damn. Losing the Motai matchup sucks. I, I made a mistake not playing the Esper Sentinel, but I've seen enough cards now to know that it wouldn't have made a difference. I suppose I can draw a solid shot, which would undo some of this mess. Oh, thank you, game. Yes. Shadow Spear. I'm going to need it if I want to get back into it, so... It's not a match I'm happy about losing. At all. Well, I've lost now. There's nothing I can do against that engine of explosives. Oh, god damn it. That sucks. Oh, that sucks to lose like that. Basically, only played one game of Magic. Oh well. Rush it off and go again. The opponent would want the die roll. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because this hand is a banger. They want a six. Here we go, boys. Oh, really? 
draw. Uh, so I could go Ornithopter, uh, Spring after the Whisper Sentinel, but that just I, that just leaves me up to like getting Fury blown out. So to Fury blowing me out rather. So I'd rather hold off on it for a bit. Okay, Dalthy Void Warfare is fine. No attacks with Ragavan. They don't want to trade into my Sentinel. So I'm still worried about Fury, hence me leaving mana up here. Um, but Surge protects me against everything, Grief, Fury, Terminate, Double Bolt is a problem, and like, if their hand is Fury, not dead Bolt, then I might be in for a bad time, but it's fine. What's interesting is that doesn't say this on the creatures, um, is that if he attacks with Ragavan, we get to block him for free. Because <laughs> red-black creatures don't deal damage. He's shocking. Oh, I guess Fable. Last card. Oh, we're in the money now. What did he exile? Bolt. Interesting, okay. I guess what did they exile, rather? Yeah, attack with Voidwalker. No blocks. Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't really need to do... No, I do. I do want to cast it. Um, and I also want to... I don't have enough mana to play like Stoneforge Mystic, Sigarda's Aid, Ornithopter. But I do want to play Sigarda's Aid. Stoneforge Mystic, I think. <sighs> let's have a think, let's have a think. So I can play a Stoneforge Mystic now and then do nothing with it. I can also just play nothing and make a construct that will be a 1 2, it'll be a 3 3, and then next turn it'll be a 4 4, which I think is more than reasonable. But then I am using Pure Steel Paladin as my equipper, but that'll be okay. I have a Shadow Spear in hand. I think I'm actually just going to pass the turn and do nothing. And sort of no matter what they do, I'm going to make a construct. Okay, so they discard a land, they draw something else. <clears throat> like, Blood Moon would be the worst thing for me. But even then, I think I'll survive. No blocks. Has shadow, not fear. If it had fear, I could block it with a slug. It's weird to me that they um they put a shadow creature in a set with no other shadow creatures in it. So in limited, I assume Dalthy Voidwalker is just a menace. Or it's worse than menace. It's shadow. Uh, cool. So we drew the thing. We drew a second land. Yeah, we're just going for the equip. We're just going to have to send it. So worth the mana. Get the other one.
let's see what they can do. They can't disrupt Metalcraft by killing creatures. They can kill the. Okay, yeah, I do just win. <laughs> I, in fact, do win. So that's good. Um. So we bring a needle because of their um, tendency to play. Um, engineered explosives. We bring out the five usual cards and then I'm just going to put in two solitudes. Uh, Esper Sentinel's not great either, in fairness. Because uh, they do have the Bowmasters, so I'm going to take those out and put these in. Boop. Still run two. Is Ornithopter better than Esper Sentinel? Probably not. So there's not much in it, though. It's easier for them to kill an Esper Sentinel, usually, but not much changes. This hand is poo. This hand is much better. <laughs> I'll keep. Will I? This hand does absolutely nothing if I don't draw a second land. But I suppose we can just hope and pray. And to be honest, I feel like a lot of the time with this deck, you, you don't really get much success if you don't take risks. So we'll keep this, and I'll bot um, Solitude. Maybe bottoming Solitude is not where I want to be. Eight, six. Okay, fair enough. Well, same. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> uh, do I want to actually? Do I want to cast a Colossus Hammer? Maybe not. Maybe we'll just pass. They they could steal Grief Scarlet. They could be getting greedy by going turn one. Ragaman, no grief scam. I think it's likely that they, they've got fury. That's usually the thing that you, you kind of pick one based on what they do on their first turn. Um. Eggs on top card of my library. It's pure still paladin. I'm happy to get that out of the way. What is that from? The token set. But what is it? Oh, it's the Jurassic Park thing. Okay, cool. How does Magic Online decide what um, tokens it uses? God damn, really? <laughs> if they had Blood Moon, they would have played it already. Yes. <laughs> Nettle cyst. Pass turn. I can't protect this stone forge and I also can't really afford to not play it. Um, now playing out the rest of my hand with this mana situation is very rough. I would expect them to kill this. Depending on whether they have the hard read on Caldra or not. Actually, Caldra is one that you can board out, but I guess with Forging you it becomes much better. So, discard a card and destroy an artifact. Uh, it's going to have to be that one. Sorry, discard a card and just kill a creature is what they chose, not an artifact. Although it could be kill an artifact. See, now I wish I kept the Solitude, but. Okay, they're exiling non-land cards, in fairness. So while they are going up in mana, it's, <laughs> it is helping me a bit. This is bad. This is really bad. If they scam this, I've just lost. I'm being punished for keeping one land as a lot. Maybe I should stop. 
or at least take into account the fact that three of the cards in my opening hand had a double white pip requirement. And there are seven colourless lands in my deck. Okay, we take the Sanctifier. Of course they have it. Can't hold it up forever. I guess they probably take the Nettle Cyst. Oh, they didn't. Okay. There's not much value in taking when they're playing uh, anything else, really. It would be a 2 2 jam. <clears throat> Whereas the Saga token would be a 1 1. Um. I think it's important that I block Ragavan, so we'll just pass off to them. I would be beholden to you. So they don't want to lose the Ragavan, which is interesting. It says to me that their hand is poo. I'm gonna get Pithy Needle and name engineered explosives. Um. I suppose I can attack with a construct. Fetch. There is like Bowmaster blocking Ragavan undying, but I think they don't have one card in their hand anyway, so it's not really a problem. They also don't know about the solitude, they haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna take the four. Go to eight. I'm not gonna take the four again, but I will take it on this occasion. Draw. Stoneforge, is it? Kind of applying fate pressure by attacking here. They might be able to reanimate Ragavan. I think if they could, they would. And they've not, so they don't. <sighs> because I don't want to get like. Thought seized is the problem. And those kind of cards exist in their deck, and I don't have the mana to hold it up. Pasta them. Pasta them. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> turn six, back off. Rude magic, then turn it back off. Okay, they're pondering. They are pondering. I can't imagine what's in their hand if they don't think they want to trade the construct for the grief. But I suppose they're just thinking, what the hell else am I going to do? I'm quite croaky, I do need a drink. I'm gonna have to get some water after this. Back off .exe, stop responding. Come on, mate, come on. Oh, he's committing. Uh, I'm solituding that, I believe. Well, hang on. 
am I really in the business to not be solitude in this? Hidetsugu could still consume all. And that would be bad. Am I going to win through that anyway, though? So do I want a double block? I'm trading a construct for a grief. If he undying evils, then in response I throw down the solitude and we just win. Otherwise I'm trading off my Stoneforge Mystic. No, otherwise I'm trading off this construct. So I think I will double block. I will I will present the double block. And then if he scams, I'll solitude it. Generally a good match. Losing to Merc Tide still stings, but I need to get a drink, so I'll be right back. Do, 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 do. Just imagine elevate music. Da, 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 Back. Bang! God said, let there be light, and it was good. <clears throat> Alright, two and one so far. Not bad. No trophy, but... It's practice, about learning. I kept a, ma a risky one-lander. Oh, yes. All day, please. It's gonna be a... It's gonna be a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't do this. Don't, don't come on. Alright, we'll keep this, we'll keep this. So that goes back, and probably that goes back, <laughs> and we're done. Um, oh, my opponent's on 7, which is not where I want to be. Um, Esper Sentinel, because we need to draw something. And I won't make the same mistake I did against Merktide, where I kept a 1 lander with 3 Sentinels. And then just didn't play the second sentinel until the first one was dead. And the first one was dead because I ran it into a Dragon's Race Chandler for no reason. But we live and learn. Draw. Oh, okay, sentinel. <laughs> cool. Attack. Misty Rainforest is generally not Fury Scam, at least. Could be Beans. Which means they could still have Fury, and if they do, I'm going to be really upset. That's not beans. They don't play a home too. Okay, we're good. We're good. We are. Well, it's not traditional four color beans if they're playing overgrown tomb at least. If I see a pay costs here while they've got one land, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to screw my eyes shut. Please don't fury me. <laughs> I'll be so sad if you fury me, please. I don't know what you're playing. I don't know what goes over Grown 2 off of Misty Rainforest, but please don't fury me. I'm too young. Oh, hell no, it's Yogmoth. Okay. Sure. Okay, well, these Esper Sentinels are never doing anything, if that's the case. Um. And I have about two turns to kill. God damn it. Now that I know what you are. Like, he can go Eldritch Evolution, and in that case, I'll definitely draw some cards, but. I don't. I don't hate the fact that I kept a risky one lander here because I was on five. And the first two hands were piles of garbage. Oh. Dried arbor. 
Yes, okay. And they can't afford to pay. That's two cards. Hammer, hammer, please. Or hammer land. It is. It's going to be a spring leaf drum, and I'm going to kill myself. It is. A ginger brute, okay. And. Drum roll, please. A hammer, okay, we like the hammer. Hammer's good. So this is. You may spy in manners and. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. And drop. Bam. Nice. <laughs> sure. Um, attacks. So they can declare blockers. I will play myself. A little treat.
Okay, so currently he's got the potential for three Giver of Runes. Three food activations. God damn, this is only using my creatures, huh? Oh, it's a minus one, minus O, sorry, minus O, minus one counter. Not a minus one, minus one counter. So they don't cancel each other out. So the wall of roots still does the thing. Oh my God. Yeah, I was thinking, don't those counters cancel each other out? Nope, they do not. X is two. What's this blood artist then? Basically, it has to draw like for this combo to go infinite, you need two undying creatures. Um, maybe he draws into them, but I don't think he needs to. He can just control the board and then beat me down. He has like Geist Wolf. That's not Geist Wolf Manor. That's Grist Manor. Woody Mill, Young Wolf. Okay. Well, I get a draw step. Is there anything you can exile in these graveyards? Not really. Not this <laughs> Two, you're playing two Besages. That's unreal. I don't know why I'm playing this out really. I suppose I can win via soul via time. <laughs> I stand by putting them to two life was was correct. The giver of rune stuff is gonna be problematic though. Alright. Cord for one, get another young wolf. Cool. That is a win condition. They have presented the win. I shall concede. We want these. <laughs> uh, this. Wait, wait, what are you doing in there? Ah, I do like these solitudes though. But what are you doing there? And we want these. Quite, quite simply. <laughs> those cards. We get rid of um, these. Um, this. Really? We do it like that? 
by keeping an Esper Sentinel in there. I can't imagine it's going to have much impact on the game. What's my last card going to be? Springleaf Drum, Springleaf Drum, Ornithopter. Ornithopter. I guess Ornithopter is not strictly terrible. <laughs> I can leave him one. Would I rather have an Ornithopter or a Nettle Cyst? How many creatures do I actually have? One, two. Well, I've bought. I normally have eighteen, and I've bought it out six, so I'm down to twelve. I almost want to do that then. Take out something else. Albeit slow, this hand is the kind of thing that <clears throat> this is the the thing that you want. All right, Stoneforge Mystic, Cigarless Aid, and Hammer. All in the same hand is pretty nice. Let's see if they get clunky hands. It's also pretty resilient against um. Well, I don't know if it's resilient against what we're we calling it. Force of Vigor, but I just can't imagine they really play it when when there's only one target because players are greedy. Oh, I could be getting gristed here, so <laughs> gristed. <laughs> um, I'll get nettle cyst. I also took out Caldra, so I can't get Caldra. Caldra doesn't get force of vigor, <laughs> but nothing does with the surge of salvation, so that's fine. Getting gristed. Oh, I love. It's weird that they've... Oh, they've added the thing so it tells me what it was produced by. Okay, interesting. One from a creep... Well, one from a creature. Was it? No. One, two. Strangrootgeist. It's fine, mate. I'll take two. Draw. Pure Steel Paladin. You'll still put all in. That hand is force of vigor. There's not a lot else going on. Um, I suppose I'll go for the damage. I still want to kill this wall of roots. That is an activated ability, though, so it does soul cauldron. But there's more mana in there hand than it or on the battlefield than it is in the graveyard and if the last card in their hand is a cigar aid sorry a 
Force of Vigor, then, which it isn't. <laughs> but if it was, uh, I'm in a better position. And the fact that it wasn't means I probably should have been looking to play a. Maybe I should have looked to play Pure Steel Paladin. Although Pure Steel Paladin is going to die to your as soon as it comes down, and they're going to draw two cards. <coughs> All right, here he comes. It's the big show. Oh, it's Grist. Hey, Grist. <laughs> That's a weird noise. You can't Grist me now. Alright. When when you do, sacrifice the creature. That comes back. That's fine. Destroy that. I don't think so. Okay, and it's a hierarchy. I, thought, I, I generally thought they were off the hierarchs. I suppose, yeah, exalted, yeah. Get in. <laughs> Get in, king. Ooh, that's perfect, actually. <clears throat> Bang. Yes. 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 I may as well do it all now. Like, we're, we're both pretty... We're, we're both aware of the fact that there's no... <laughs> uh, I'll just attack him. No shenanigans happening here. Take the damage and move on. I don't I just don't like how Gris looks. Oh you can't zoom in on the art. I don't have the little window thing open. And it's not because I think it's a bad design, it just looks gross. Which means it probably is a good design. But is it an insect? Like, is it... Is, do, the, do the insects have a spark? Or is it like a corpse? Might have to do a grist law check-in after this. My opponent is tanking a little bit. They won the last game from two life. So, I mean... It's completely feasible that they could win this one from a similar spot. It's just I don't believe they had much in hand. Game for four. It's fine, mate. Not blocking. I guess attack with Stoneforge is sort of where we're at. Maybe I play Pure Steel Paladin so I at least draw a card when I flash in this. But then it, it like then I only have one mana up anyway. <clears throat> okay, so if they if like their hand is Force of Vigor, which it could be. I just lose anyway, um, whether they have Grist or not, because they just kill all my artifacts. This pure steel pattern does nothing, and then I just sort of proceed to lose. So, do I attack them with both? Is the thing probably. Yeah, I still attack them with both. They might be bluffing. If they have it, they have it. I think they like if it's me, you 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 still bluff. Um, I'm gonna cover the opponent is paying costs thing because I don't want to get force of vigor. It's gonna sting so bad.
if they said anything in the chat. I don't even want to look at the chat. Oh. Oh no, they're gonna block and then kill the Shadow Spear. No, they have a Force of Vigor. This is a Force of Vigor play. <laughs> block with as much as possible and then do it. Oh, I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. <laughs> Because I'm attacking with multiple creatures, they're figuring out how they can block as much as they can and deal with the fact that I might have to, I might flash in a hammer on the other creature. And they're also trying to play around Surge of Salvation so they don't die, but I think they've realised they can't play around Surge of Salvation and now they're just going to cast it. Oh god. Oh, I hate this card, it is the bane of my existence. <sighs> Flip sake. So much fun, isn't it? So much fun playing against Force of Vigor. Ah! Oh! I'm just molding. <laughs> Look at this stupid card. Oh, they're just gonna win now. They've risked. They just win. Last game they had two Besage use. This game they have Force of Vigor. It was the last card in their hand the other turn. I think it likely means they don't have anything else, but... I also think they kind of have to win this match. Sorry, this game. Otherwise, I will win the match on time. Which isn't fantastic practice. Because... Do they have another Grace, then? Because it means I wouldn't win this in paper. Um... But I would win it on Magic Online, if you understand. Sure. Another Strangle Root Geist. So they're setting up to draw Yogmoth. This just sucks. They have blockers for two. <laughs> Board. 
In what world do you ever attack with the ignoble hierarch? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I, why would I ever add green? I'm not trying to cast a double blue thing. Simply refuse. I have the mana to cast a solitude as well. I'd rather get a two for one if I can. Force blockers. At least force a one for one, I guess, by getting rid of their tokens. That's one soul culture in the yard. I'm playing for time, is, is what I need to do, so... I need to be super efficient, I guess. I don't like playing for time. But we're, we're doing it. Play to your outs. And if time is one of them, I guess play for it. I get playing for time if you're like 1-0 up in a matchup in paper, but it's just... I mean, not great paper practice. They make a dude. That's cocky. Well, I guess I had, you know, they're probably pretty confident I don't have another shot. with the insect forever and forever so they have five minutes to win this game I'm a pretty slow MTGO player in fairness But they need a, they need a Yogmoth and a Blood Artist to just win the game. There's nothing in the graveyard that's really relevant. This giver might be. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of reason not to play the giver against the Soul Contra deck. They're pushing damage. Which makes sense. I can't even draw a forge in you as an out because of that haywire might. They can be alive with it. For sure, mate. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, they win. It's <laughs> 40 minutes of their day to beat me. 40 minutes of my day. Come on, 8 lands, dude. Okay, well, we're 2 and 2 going into match 5. Um, losses to Yorgmoth, which, which is fair enough. The matchup is terrible. And a loss to Murktide, which is not where we want to be. I kind of want to always beat Murktide. But, you know, you can't always win them all. And I did make some questionable decisions. It's not like they drew perfect, I just didn't play too well. Um, I played against Scam fine. 
And who did I beat? I beat like John Saga, I think it was. Played against that fine. It's much easier to play around the removal of the black red decks than it is the um, blue ones because they have counter magic. They play first. Uh, they're on the play. This is a good hand. <laughs> we will be keeping. Keep. Good luck. Have fun, opponent. He's got the Yargle. The old Yargle and Motlani. <laughs> I mean, I'm just giving him F6. Swamp. Okay, yesterday I played against Coffers. So it could be that. I'm not really sure how the Coffers match I'm supposed to go, because I played it once and I lost. But, okay, it is Coffers. It's either that or like Scammer Time. Not Scammer Time, sorry, what is it? They're playing like. Wait, maybe wait. Oh, it's a cookbook deck. Alright. Okay, interesting. Yes. Um, okay, I guess Caldra is sort of, is that the business I'm in? I only have one artifact right now. Yeah. It'll kill maybe a touch slower than a hammer will. Because I actually have to, like, get the artifacts for a hammer. So if I had a hammer, I'd play it next turn. No, I wouldn't. I would have to play the thing and then a hammer. Play the uh, fortune and then the hammer. Uh, okay, it is, this, like, it is the scam. Trumpeting Carnosaur thing. So they're going to reanimate a Carnosaur and then discover five next turn. Draw. Yes. <laughs> Hammer. <laughs> Playing out the hammer because I have two ways in hand. So I'm a bit on board. And now that I drew a Ingmoth next, I actually can equip it. Possibly. Oh, it's this. Alright. Sure. Um. Right, okay. I'll play this tapped as well. <laughs> and now, um, and I'm just gonna pass the turn and, and just like hope they don't draw like a win condition. Have a lightning bolt. Okay, cool. <laughs> Dude, they don't have a lightning bolt, they were just having red mana because, for fun. The hell am I going to play against that? This is a mana tide matchup and they're going to be playing ancient explosives. 
<laughs> so I think that's probably as much as I can presume. Manatide, engineered explosives, uh, Esper Sentinel is probably not too hot. Uh, Discard, yeah, probably get rid of Esper Sentinel. I'm guessing they're playing like. Um, Uh, buh, 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 buh. Like if their removal was Carnosaur, or like one of their pieces of removal is Carnosaur, that's like less of a reason for them to. They're probably playing fewer instants and sorceries. And then, uh, the fuck. Yeah, I guess we keep that. Uh, let me just, uh, let's have a look at the craggle thingy. Oh shit, sorry. Sorry opponent. They've got a blood crypt in their hand, sure. Crap. Wick. To target planes with one more player. Right, okay, so they've got a turn two troll of Kazadun. Fair enough. Um, funnily enough, mate, I can block that. So that's fine. <laughs> I can block that forever. Oh no, he's got menace! God damn. I'm an idiot. It doesn't have menace, it has super menace. I've got four turns to do something, I guess. I'm gonna name like. Well, I wasn't gonna name her as a saga. I'll name her. We'll just end the turn. Why is we gonna attack with a sanctifier? No, it's fine. Like, it can hang back. <laughs> so if he goes Cracklewick this turn, I'm in a bad way. I oh, know I have forged you, so I'm not actually in that bad a way. He's not gonna go Cracklewick this turn. It ain't the turn for it. And he needs cookbook to empty his hand. But he also needs to kill that pithy needle before he can use the cookbook. Grief? Well, I suppose it enters. Oh, no. Has to be three creatures, right? Can't be blocked except by three or more. God damn, I'm one creature off blocking it. It's actually three to two. Draw, bang. Culture, right? <sighs> Pass to them. So my construct will be a three three, but he's gonna make a food, so his construct's gonna be a four four. So I could have played a tapped call, but I don't think it's going to do too much. Your constructs are 4 fours. Oh, 
Now I am punished by playing that Mary. It's good. Put a hammer on it. Um. Yes. <laughs> okay. We actually get the three and two. Wow. <laughs> that was an instant conceit. <laughs> Not bad, eh? And we got 100 play points back, so we get another league! I might do one tomorrow. Because uh, that was good. Um, so what's that? 3 and 2, I guess. 3 wins, 2 losses. We get our money back. We get a treasure chest, which we'll open. Uh, how did I like the deck? The deck was pretty good. It was, We played against... John Saga, um, can I see my opponents, oh that's, that's the cardboard bot, let's have a look, uh, return to details I suppose, yeah here we go, so, <laughs> match one, we won 2-0 versus John Saga, or like, no, it wasn't John Saga, it was like a cookbook deck. I don't know, it didn't look that good. Match 2, we lost to Merktide, very sad. Match 3, we won against Scam. Match 4, we lost to Yogmoth. And then match 5, we won against Cragglewick. <laughs> so I beat one real deck and then lost to two. Well, and then lost to one, I suppose, seeing as Yogmoth. I, I wouldn't really consider Merktide a real deck in the overall field. Um, but that's okay. View previous decks. What does that do? Well, yeah, this is this is what I was playing, I suppose. All right, cool. All right, what we'll do then is I still have these to use at some point. I'm probably not going to. One in fifty-six. Okay, open. Yes. <laughs> I don't think any of this is worth anything. <laughs> Maybe Ren and Round Baker? No. Okay, we got cards. Let's have a look on card order. Is Ren and Round Baker? Two and a half ticks. The buy list at one. <laughs> one point eight. I mean, it pays for a decent chunk of the deck that I'm renting, I suppose. <laughs> Paying about £6 to rent this, so that's pretty good. Um, Alright, yeah. I do I do like this list, to be fair. Um, sometimes it, you know, obviously if you fall behind, it struggles. Uh, against Yogmoth, I maybe should have mulliganed that opening hand to try and hit a Cursed Totem, but like the problem with Cursed Totem is, again, it's an artifact. It's not like they're not playing Force of Vigor and Haywire Might and two Besaidus. Is that stock? Is two Besaidu stock? Or did I get got? I'm mad about it, like I wouldn't have lost anyway. But like, it just feels bad to lose to the second one. It is stock. They're all playing it. <laughs> Damn it, okay. Alright, it feels bad, man. But it happens. Did I mana tithe anyone? I didn't mana tithe anyone. But I only boarded it in against Cragglewick. Uh, Reanimator. And it was okay, actually. Like, I have played with the Mana Tide. I played some yesterday. I played against Rhinos. It was very good there. I counted a Rhino and a Fury because I drew them both. Other than that, I don't think... I I'm probably I'm pretty happy to not make changes to this deck. Um, Pithy Needle main deck would would be relevant against uh, Yogmoth, in fairness. Um, Nettle Cyst... What did Nell did Nelsis do anything in any of my matches? Like I played it a few times. Like I I was sort of reliant on it against Yogmoth and it did nothing. Uh, but that was just because like nothing would have got me out of that. Um, um
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else I'd do. Four Soldier Salvation main deck is, is just... It, it's necessary. Every list was playing three main one side for ages, but, like, let's be honest, you were boarding it in in every matchup anyway. The only matchup I wouldn't board it in is... The Mirror. <laughs> it's the only ma matchup where I wouldn't play four. Even against Scales, you play four, because they're playing four Force of Vigor. So, yeah, in all fairness, I'm, I'm kind of happy to leave the list as is for now. Maybe I swap the Nettle Cyst and the Pithy Needle around, but maybe I don't. Thanks for tuning in. I might do another league tomorrow morning. Um, I get. I suppose I'll schedule it in, and I may or may not show up. <laughs> uh, like I did yesterday. But yeah, I think we're going to do a, another league tomorrow. Um, or maybe Friday. Yeah, we'll do it Friday. Because I'm, I'm, I'm playing Magic tomorrow anyway, so I'll do a league on Friday. Uh, and then RCQ is on... Sunday on the weekend, I'm not sure actually. It's either Sunday or Saturday. But thanks for watching, anyone who did tune in, uh, and I will probably be back on Friday.